Hello you guys, it is Disney packing day. I'm gonna show you everything that I'm bringing for my eight night Disney vacation. That is crazy to say. I'm gearing up for an almost 12 hour drive to Disney World. So I'm also gonna show you some of the road trip organization that I have going on here in my kitchen as well. So hopefully you get some really helpful tips and tricks from this video. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Level 8 Luggage and I'll share a little bit more later on, but let's go ahead and dive into all of the packing. All right, starting on this end with my park outfits. As you can see, everything is very festive, but we have five park days. So I have one, two, three, four, five park day outfits laid out. And because it's December, winter time is very unpredictable weather-wise. So every single day I have some kind of short sleeve option with a sweater or sweatshirt or some kind of tank top with a sweatshirt. And then again, same thing with the bottoms. I have a couple pairs of jeans, and then I also have biker shorts, leggings, regular athletic shorts, and denim shorts, and then again, more jeans. So I kind of have a little bit of everything, and all of these bottoms can kind of mix and match with all of these outfits. So based on what the weather ends up being the day of, I can kind of decide what I wanna go with if I wanna do jeans or shorts or leggings or biker shorts or whatever. So that's kind of my game plan for all of these park outfits to kind of make them to where they can be interchangeable and I'm not locked into, well, I have to wear jeans with this outfit or it doesn't work or, you know, those are the park day outfits. Another night we are doing a dinner at Topolino's. So I have this really pretty green, flowy dress with some sparkly ears and then I always have shorts under dresses so I have that laid out so all park resort outfits and then I am bringing a few other shirts just I don't know it's just nice to have extra in case I don't know what it's just nice to have extra <laughs> so we are there seven full days and I have five park day outfits, so I will need a couple of other outfits anyway. So I figured if I bring just a couple of extra tops, another sweatshirt, I can mix and match this with some of the jeans or shorts. So that way I have some other options as well. Moving on to my toddler's clothes, I have a bunch of little Minnie Mouse tees for her. So all of these, kind of the same concept, I can mix and match depending on what the weather ends up being like. So I have a bunch of little t-shirts, a pair of shorts, a couple pairs of jeans, and a pair of leggings. So I can, again, mix and match those, and then a bunch of little sweatshirts and long sleeve options for her. And all of these can be layered on top of any of these options. So again, lots of mix and matching <laughs> and just being flexible with what our outfits are gonna be. And then I'm also packing a couple of little holiday dresses for the nights that we go out to dinner. We have dinner, like I mentioned, at Topolino's. We have a dinner at Citrico. So I figured, you know, it'd be really cute to get all dressed up for that and have my toddler in some cute little fancier outfits. And then I have some pajamas for her. I'm, I am bringing a couple other pair. They're in the wash currently. So I will add those to this little pile. Some socks for her. I am bringing a couple of swimsuits for myself. We do plan on having at least one pool day, assuming that the weather cooperates. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, we can do Blizzard Beach. I would love to add that in. Um, again, it's all dependent on the weather, but I'm gonna bring some swimsuits. And then swim for my toddler. Ugh, how stinking cute is this little two-piece? So my idea for this was on the day we go, again, hopefully go to Blizzard Beach, this would be so perfect. A little Elsa inspired swimsuit in the new Frozen section that they just added on at Blizzard Beach. I thought that would just be so adorable. And then this is her little swim bag. So, you know, if we do go to Blizzard Beach or the pool, I can just grab this and I have some sandals, swim diapers, her little cover up. I can throw in another outfit for when we want to change out of our swimsuit. So that way I have, you know, kind of a designated bag for all of our swimwear. And these clear plastic bags I've mentioned many times. I adore these bags so much. They are from Amy Small World. I will have her shop linked down below as well as my discount code. And then I'm packing some comfy clothes slash PJs. 
So a couple of things there. And then this is my little undergarment bag with bras, socks, underwear, you know, all the things. Moving on, I have my toiletry bag. And I did want to show a couple of the toiletries that I got uh, that I get kind of fresh for every trip. So I get a little mini loofah. That way I can just leave this there when we're done and I'm not traveling home with a wet soapy loofah. So, you know, I get this in the dollar section at Target and I can just toss it when we're done. And then I got a new pack of scrunchies, a travel size of my makeup removing wipes, and then a new little travel size lotion. So those were some of the little travel size toiletry items that I got new for this trip. Um, I feel like I keep my toiletry bag pretty stocked with travel size items anyway, so it's pretty rare that I have to buy new things unless I'm just restocking something that I ran out of. Okay, the next couple of items that I'm so excited for are my Stony Clover fanny packs. You guys, I'm so obsessed. So I got this little bag charm from Bobble Bar. I have this little Santa Mickey bag charm is also from Stony Clover. And I love that I can kind of mix and match these on other fanny packs, but I think I'm just gonna go with the solid colors for this trip because everything is very Christmassy and festive. So I have a couple of these that I can kind of mix and match with all of my little Christmas outfits. This bag right here is another Stony Clover bag that I got leading up to this trip. And I'm actually gonna keep some little makeup items in here. So it actually has a ton in there. You just really can't tell. <laughs> it fits way more than what it looks like. I have a blush, a concealer, a mascara, a little mini perfume, lip gloss, a hair tie, couple other little things down in there it fits a lot so that's gonna be nice and moving on this is my little mini jewelry case I don't travel with a bunch of jewelry but what I do travel with I wanted something just small and compact so I have a couple of little festive earrings up here and then a couple of necklaces I just needed something again really small that would keep just a couple of items organized so I think this will be perfect. And then this is my travel makeup case. You guys, this thing is so beat up. I've been using this for years, but it's also a testament to what good quality it is. So what this is, is a hard shell makeup travel case, and you can organize these however you want to organize it based on whatever you want to travel with. So I bring way too much makeup, you guys. I do not need all this. I might go through and try to scale down, but... I just, I have way too much in here. So I need to go through all of this. It also has this pouch up here where you can put makeup brushes. I usually slide a eyeshadow palette in there, but I love having this. It just gives me the security that I need to be able to travel with, you know, liquid products and not worry about it spilling or breaking or getting smashed. I just know that everything is safe and protected in here. Moving around here, this is my makeup brush case, and this thing is a lifesaver. So whenever I get to wherever we're staying, I just fold this down, and it's like a little container for your makeup brushes, and they have kind of their own little stand built into the case. So this thing has been really convenient, and then you just zip it right back up when you're done and toss it in your luggage, and you're good to go. So I really, really love this. I have my curling wand in here. I'm probably going to bring my straightener as well, but I love having this case that way if I need to do my hair the morning that we are packing up and leaving, I can put a hot curling wand in this or a hot straightener and I can throw it in my luggage and not worry about it touching all of my things or melting something. It's just really nice having this um, little case for it. Next, I have my toddler's toiletries. So I got her a new little hairbrush. I'm bringing my toddler's mini ears from Chloe and Belle. I will have this small shop linked down below. These are such good quality. They have the cutest prints and designs and colors, and they're just so perfect for babies and toddlers. We got these last year on our Disney trip and they lasted great. I mean, they're just such great quality. So highly recommend these little toddler or baby mini ears. They're so stinking cute. And then this is her toiletry bag. And same thing, same little clear travel bag. I have this same print in a bunch of different sizes. So you can get kind of a set if you want to purchase these travel, uh, clear travel bags. They're super, super cute. 
This one, this little mini size, I have all of her little bows, her comb, little hair ties. So this is gonna be her little hair bag. And then I always bring a spray bottle for her hair. She has very fine, thin hair and it, she wakes up in the morning or wakes up from a nap and it just looks crazy. So I always have to bring a spray bottle of water with us anywhere we go. And then I'm bringing wipes, nighttime diapers, and another pack of diapers. So I will definitely need more than this for a nine day, eight night trip, but this will get us started and I can always throw in another pack of diapers, um, you know, in our trunk or something. Um, and then I always pack our stroller rain cover. The weather looks amazing for the week that we're traveling, but you seriously never know. And I will always have my stroller rain cover with us. Even if the weather says that it's going to be perfect, bring the stroller rain cover. The next thing over here is our little uh, first aid kit. This just has a variety of everything in it. I know that the parks have uh, a first aid center, but it's just nice having what you need back in the room in case, um, you know, it's the middle of the night and you just need a Tylenol or, you know, my toddler falls and we need a Band-Aid or just something small. It's just nice to have everything you need already with you. And then this is another little pouch that I got from Stony Clover, another uh, one that I was really excited about. So I have all of our charging cables in here. I have our little mini fan in here, uh, my phone charger, our portable phone charger, and then some magic bands as well. So this will kind of be our electronic bag, but love this print so much. I honestly might switch out what I use this for because this bag is too cute and I just want to see it all the time. So I don't know. I may switch out what I use this for, but it's super cute. And right now it's my little electronic bag. And the last thing here is my portable tripod for my phone. And it also connects to my camera, but this is what I use to vlog in the parks. So super simple. I don't have any kind of fancy setup or anything like that. And I like this because I can also set this up and use it to take pictures. If I wanna do a self timer thing, I've done that many times in the parks with my toddler using this. Moving on to shoes. These are the little shoes that I'm bringing for my toddler on the nights that we're getting a little more dressed up. I'll put her in some cute little, you know, knee high socks or something really cute with these. These are her really comfy tennis shoes that are already a little beat up and kind of dirty. So these will be perfect for the park for her. And then same thing, these are my very worn in <laughs> tennis shoes that are very dirty, but always bring your comfiest, most worn in shoes to the parks. And then I'm also bringing another pair of tennis shoes that I can kind of switch out. It's just nice to have a second pair that you can kind of interchange. And then these are the nicer boots that I'm gonna bring for our fancier dinner at Topolino's to wear with that green dress and then some shoes for the pool. But that is all I'm bringing for shoes. Next, I wanna show you the packing cubes that I use. I have a mixture of packing cubes that I got from Target a couple years ago. I also have a set that I love from Stony Clover that I found on sale, but I like having a variety of sizes and I'll show you here in a second how I organize our things to fit within our packing cubes um, and kind of how I decide what's gonna go in what because this is the best part of packing. I don't know, I just, love organizing our packing cubes. It just makes me feel so efficient. I don't know what the right word is, but let me show you our packing cubes and how I kind of organize everything. Here are the packing cubes laid out. So I have one extra large size. I have two large size. I have two medium size, and then I have kind of a variety of smaller sizes. Basically what I do, I will start with the biggest size first. So this extra large size, I usually use this for Ellie's nighttime items. So she has a lovey, a blankie, I'll bring a crib sheet if that's something we need. I'll bring her nighttime diapers, her sound machine. Like there's just a lot <laughs> that goes into toddler nighttime. So I'm gonna put this one over here with all of her things. And then I'm gonna use these larger sized ones to put all of my outfits in as well as my toddler's outfits and then kind of go from there and see what I wanna use the smaller and smallest sizes for after that.
all of my clothes into these three packing cubes, which I forgot that because I'm bringing so many sweatshirts and sweaters <laughs> that it takes up way more space than a summer trip normally would. So typically I could probably fit all of my clothes into one packing cube if I'm being honest, but because this is a nine day, eight night trip and it's winter, so I'm bringing sweatshirts and long sleeves and pants, I needed the three packing cubes. So I have the two large size for regular outfits and then I used one of the medium sized for the rest of my clothes, kind of the odds and ends, uh, just you know, pajamas, extra shirts, things like that. And then I have a medium size packing cube for all of Ellie's clothes. I had to like really smash everything down <laughs> to get it into this one. And then the rest of her little dresses and odds and ends in this um, smaller size one. And then over there, as you can see over there, uh, that large one, it's not fully packed yet because I do need to grab all of Ellie's last minute things. Like I mentioned, everything that goes into nighttime with a toddler. So all of that will go in that extra large size packing cube. But other than that, everything else kind of can just be tossed in the suitcase and packed around the packing cubes. So it's just the clothes that I like to have really organized and then everything else I can kind of organize around the packing cubes. Okay, next I'm so excited to show you guys this suitcase that I'm gonna be bringing on this trip. Like I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Level 8 Luggage. They were kind enough to send me their 24 inch checked suitcase in this really pretty pink color. I've never really had a suitcase that I've been excited about. I've always just had these generic brands, but I'm really excited about this one. Let me show you guys some of the features that I really love about this suitcase. So the first thing, and these things might seem silly to be really excited about a suitcase unless you've had a really generic brand suitcase that just doesn't perform well <laughs> like I have, but this handle glides so easily. It's like a dream. And when I travel solo with my toddler, not on this trip, but in past trips and I'm sure future trips as well, it's nice having a suitcase that you can maneuver easily, meaning the wheels have that 360 turn like this suitcase does. And it's just really, really nice. And it makes all the difference in the world when you need a suitcase that is easy to maneuver. Another thing I really like about this suitcase is that right on top here, it has a TSA lock on it. So you can actually use the handles on the zippers as the lock itself. So it's super easy to use and I really like that feature, especially when I'm traveling somewhere like Mexico. We've done all-inclusive resorts in Cancun and you know, we like to do that every year. So it's just nice to know that there's an added level of security on my suitcase and I've never had that feature on a suitcase before. So this feels very fancy, but let me move into the interior because this part is what I'm most excited about. Here's the interior and what I love most about this is that you have this mesh piece of fabric on both sides so that way it covers everything that you have packed on both sides. I have yet to have a suitcase that has that feature. I don't know, maybe that's common, but I'm very excited about it. It feels very fancy for me. So I love that this is breathable. And then of course you have this piece on here as well, but I mean, super roomy. I mean, even though this is a 24 inch suitcase, I feel like I'm gonna be able to fit a ton in here. And then same thing on this side, you have that same cover, but you also have two additional zipper pockets on both sides. So I really, really like that. So that's gonna be perfect for anything that couldn't fit in a packing cube and I had to kind of include separate. It'll just go right here in this compartment. So that's really, really nice. And then same thing, you have this piece, this strap, and then lots and lots of room. So I do love the organization in here. I feel like it's pretty unique. And then I also really love, this is something small, but I love this gray fabric. It just feels very high end 
and it just feels really, really good quality. And I'm really excited about the interior of this. All right, so that is the interior, but I also wanted to add that level eight has so many different sizes and colors. This was one of the more medium sizes and they have lots of different designs as well. They have larger sizes, they have lots of carry-on options. So really whatever you're looking for, I feel like level eight has an option for that. So definitely check out their website and level eight was kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. So if you wanna check it out, I'll have that discount code linked down below as well but I am so excited to bring the suitcase to Disney with us I love the pink I love how girly it is it feels a little festive so it's gonna be perfect for this Christmas Disney trip but thank you again to level 8 for sponsoring this video and let's go ahead and pack up everything into this suitcase works like a dream. I am so excited to travel with it. So thank you again to Level 8 Luggage for sending over that suitcase and sponsoring today's video. And again, make sure to head down below to the description box to check out their website and make sure to take advantage of that discount code. The next thing I wanna share is some of our road trip organization that I have out in my kitchen. And I've never shown this in a packing video before, mostly because I've never had it ready in time <laughs> for the video. But let me show you everything I have prepped for our road trip. Really quick, I wanted to add that my toddler's clothes are actually gonna go in a separate bag. So all of my things are going in the pink suitcase and then my toddler's items, she'll have her own little duffel bag. So because we are staying off property, we actually have the space for my toddler to have her own room. So I figured it would be easier to have all of her items in her own bag as compared to us sharing a bag. So that's why I felt good about putting all of my things in a smaller 24 inch suitcase and then all of my toddler's items are going in her own bag. So I wanted to clarify that in case you were wondering. Okay, now let's jump into the road trip organization. Okay, so the first item is our road trip basket for my toddler. <laughs> It has a lot, but if you want to see everything that I have packed in here, I will have my prep for Disney vlog link down below where I show you everything I have in here. But basically it's just a very large combination of books, coloring books, tablets, headphones, lots of little trinkety toys, flashcards, stickers, all kinds of stuff. But I keep this in the car next to my toddler's car seat in the middle seat. That way we have all of her things for a long road trip, easily accessible and organized. So this is the basket that I use. It has lots of pockets, so really, really nice. This is from Amazon. I will have this linked down below, but we have used this on quite a few road trips now and it has been a lifesaver having something that I can just easily toss in the car and have all of my toddler's things ready to go. And this kind of stays packed like this in my closet <laughs> all the time. So I'm not having to, you know, unpack it, pack it. It just stays like this all the time. So this is the first thing that we kind of have prepped and ready for our road trip. The next thing right here is this travel basket and this is actually collapsible. So if we are not using this, it just folds right down and is completely flat. So it's really, really nice that we have something that is kind of a space saver as well, but really nice when you have all kinds of little odds and ends that you need somewhere to put them in the back of your trunk and you're not just like throwing things in your car. It stays nice and organized. And I believe this was from Costco, but I know they sell these on Amazon as well. Um, but I have a bunch of snacks in here, our liquid IV, goldfish, what else is in here? Some applesauce pouches, bars, my toddler's empty water bottle. I have some <laughs> uh, detergent if we wanna do laundry. I have our little mini park cooler where I will put some uh, freezer packs in here and we will hook this to our stroller um, when we are in the parks and I'll put you know, yogurt, cheese sticks, a water bottle, just whatever in here for my toddler. I'll cut up some fruit, things like that. Um, some other little snacks for the road trip, but that way this all stays 
nice and organized. And then as we kind of pull from it during the trip um, and we don't need this anymore, we can just collapse it down. Or if we, I just thought of this, if we end up doing some shopping um, and have some bags to come home with, we have somewhere to kind of organize all that. And then lastly, I have some drinks ready to go and I'll probably pull out our little mini travel cooler, not something this small, but a little bit bigger than that, that could hold, you know, a dozen drinks in it um, for me and my husband to have kind of a mix of things um, cold during our drive. And then I have this bag already prepped and ready um, for snacks for my toddler that I'll just keep up in the middle console. That way when she is asking for a snack, um, you know, every five minutes, I can uh, grab something really easily out of here and I'm not having to dig out of the trunk out of this. So this will go in the trunk and this will go in the middle console. But this is another piece of our <laughs> Disney packing when it comes to a road trip that I wanted to include as well. And kind of just show how other people pack up their cars when it comes to, you know, trunk and backseat organization. All right, that is it for today's packing video. If you are not already subscribed, I would love for you to stick around so that you can catch these trip vlogs that I have coming very soon. And make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I keep up with my stories over there if you want to follow along with our trip in real time and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's packing video thank you guys again for watching and i will see you in my next one bye